Hello and welcome to F4 Discover Free video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do debugging on F4 Discover Free using the open source Eclipse IDE and Open OCD. If you want to know about F4 Discover Free, you can visit our website at www.isenga.com slash robotics slash F4 Discover Free. So let's get started. Here we have Eclipse IDE with one project created already. We call it My Project. If you don't know how to create a new project, we suggest, we suggest you to watch our other video. So, within My Project, inside the user.c user file, we wrote down a simple and short program here. Basically, we turn on LED 1, LED 2, LED 3, and LED 4 with a delay of 500 milliseconds in between. And then at the very end, we turn off all four LEDs. And then the loop continues from the beginning again. So let's build this project. Building the project may take some time depending on your system. Now we already have our binary created. And we are going to upload this binary to F4 Discover Free. Here, as usual, I provide a live webcam view to F4 Discover Free so that when we blast the firmware and debugging, our firmware on F4 Discover Free, we can watch it in uh, real time. So let's burn our firmware to the flash. Okay, as you can see there on the screen, LED 1, LED 2, three, four, and then all four off. And the uh, loop continues. So now, let's say we want to do debugging with this simple software. Here, here is the step that you need to do. You need to go here, click the small arrow, and choose the FT2232D JTAG STM32F4X reset hull. This basically will start the GDB server inside under open OCD. If you get an error like uh, the one on the screen, meaning that you haven't selected the project, so you just need to click OK and select the project and then do it again. The GDB server is running and now you can do debugging. Click the small arrow next to this up icon and choose my project. Okay, now we are inside the debugging perspective. You can click this icon to run the program as you can see here on the screen. Okay, so let's Let's go to our program before and put some breakpoint. For example, I will put the breakpoint here. Then there you go. As you can see here, that the program is halted exactly before it turns on LED one. I can I can put several breakpoints. For example, here before turning on LED two, LED three, and LED four. And then I can continue the program flow by clicking this icon. Now LED 1 is on and the program flow stop right before turning on the LED 2. So all you need to do is just keep pressing this button and you can see there on the screen on the real on the webcam, live webcam view that uh, LED, three LEDs are on now. And the last one is to turn on LED 4.
and the program flows continue. If I remove all of these breakpoints, then the program runs normally. So that's how easy to do debugging uh, on F4 Discover Free using Eclipse IDE and OpenOCD. If you want to stop the debugging session, then you need to go here and click this stop button and also with the other one under my project and you can click this icon C or C++ to go back to the editing mode so that's it for today's tutorial thank you for watching and see you in another tutorial